Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. As promised, I am bringing you a video today a little bit about suffering, and I'm continuing to go through this Faithful God series, but this week we are talking about seasons of suffering and how God is faithful even in the midst of our troubles. So I went ahead and journaled this verse in Ecclesiastes, but before we jump into that process, I did want to go ahead and share my little warm-up scripture writing time with you. This is a page that I've done some watercolor on ahead of time. I've also glued on a couple images from magazines that I just enjoyed or thought were inspirational. And then I splatter painted some black watercolor on the page as well. So I'm working with a really fun background to begin with. And I'm just going to go ahead and read some of these verses to you. The first one is Ecclesiastes 7.14, and this is the one that I'll actually be journaling in my actual Bible in just a moment. It says, In the day of prosperity, be joyful, and in the day of adversity, consider. God has made the one as well as the other, so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. Psalm 119.75, I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Man, these verses are hard and mysterious. We're going to talk about them. I'm going on to John 14.18, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. And then I kind of signed the name of Jesus there because that's a promise of his that I absolutely love. I went through with my big, giant Faber-Castell brush pen here and just added some lines and some borders around parts of these scripture verses that really were speaking to me, things I wanted to highlight. I love this idea that Jesus makes this promise that he's not going to leave us as orphans, that he is going to come to us. And I find that especially comforting in light of the other two verses on the opposite page there that talk about how God makes seasons in our lives, both seasons of prosperity and adversity. And this is such a hard thing, I think, for many of us to grab hold of, that he is faithful amidst our affliction. He's not surprised. He remains faithful. And we live in a fallen world. There are seasons of suffering. Believe me, if you haven't experienced one, God bless you. You're so lucky. But most of us, if not all, have experienced seasons of affliction or suffering or trouble. And I just wanted to spend some time meditating today on this verse in Ecclesiastes about the fact that God has actually created the one as well as the other. So I'm going ahead and just cutting out that template and taping it with some washi tape that I've already weakened the adhesive on. I just stuck it to my skin and peeled it off before I stick it to the Bible page. That makes it easier to remove later. And I'm just writing that portion of the verse that God has made the one as well as the other. And again, this is coming in that context of, hey, when seasons are good, be grateful. But when seasons are bad... Don't forget, God has made both of those seasons in your life. He's allowing for both of those things to come your way. This is such a challenging thing, as I said, but I think it is reality. God does not promise, hey, once you come to me, your suffering will end. Hey, once you come to me, you'll have just abundance and everything you ever need. He does promise to meet every need. But he doesn't promise that everything's going to flourish and be easy and wonderful all the time. So the images I've created on this template are meant to be quite symbolic. On the left there is just this beautiful flower garden that's prospering. And on the right here is this little daisy guy that is not doing so hot. And I've been in that place before where you feel like this little slumped over daisy. But I've also been in the place where I just feel like these flowers here that are just flourishing and growing up. I am just using my Crayola twistable colored pencils today. This is meant to be just a very simple, easy page when it comes to the artsy side of it. And maybe I went that way because it is such a deep and heavy topic talking about suffering and why a good God would ever allow that in our lives. But I can't argue with the word of God and it says that he created the one as well as the other, that he in his faithfulness afflicted the psalmist. Yet, as those John verses remind me, 
he won't leave us as orphans. He's going to come to us. So again, this gets back to that theme of a faithful God. This is not a God that just walks away in our seasons of trouble or suffering. He is always there. He is never surprised. And I have seen that over and over again in my own life, that even in seasons of suffering, God's there. So we can't walk away from him. We can't just discard Jesus. He was with us the whole time. He will always be with us. I hope that is a comfort for you. Like I said, this was a super simple page. That's pretty much it. But I hope this encourages you to jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. Please jump over to Facebook and join our community there. Share what you're creating. This is so much fun. You can find that template as well as many others in my Etsy store. The link is in the description box below. Here's a couple more videos of mine you might also enjoy. Would you leave me a comment down below or a thumbs up to let me know that you're enjoying these videos? And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.